Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to use this watercolor painting to describe how the compositions and the movement lead our attentions through a painting. I'm going to start with a very light sketching. I'm going to have a, just a little bit higher than half. Yeah, take a look at. I'm going to just get the, a little yellow with the red with a little bit blue color. Okay, this is good enough. So let's take a look. I'm gonna come in over here. And take a look over here. I'm gonna move the houses a little bit more to the left hand side. So I'm gonna have this here, this down. And I'm gonna have a little bit more. This is will be the shape, the wall. Now you see the weight shift a little bit more to the left side. So I'm gonna have this wall and this is will be a little house. I'm not sure you already know, there's something new and excited on Skillshare to have learning paths for students with different learning interests and directions. Each learning path is a collection of related classes a set of curated classes that build on one another, reinforcing lessons, available in a range of experience levels, from beginners to advanced, from new hot topics like become a more efficient content creators with ChatGPT, to drawing, painting, design, photography, video editing, cooking, website design, and productivities, and many, many. You definitely will find something helpful for you. You can access these learning paths and more by using my link in the description. Personally, I'm interested in the learning path called Video for Social Media. Create to engage your audience, which the area that I always like to improve to better serve my audience, which is you. In this learning path, there are four classes. Under the materials includes iPhone or DSLR video camera, video editing software, and the final product of this learning path will be four video projects to post on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or your favorite social media platform. And it is for all levels. In this path, the learning sequence begins from Go from clueless to confident, to dive deeper into your story, then create beautiful cinematic footage. Ends with the lesson, create a minute long Instagram video. Thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. The first 500 people using my link in the descriptions will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Use the link in the description now. It's good to be learning in a community. Let's back to the painting. There's a horse down over here. Okay, there's one on the left side. Just looking at the shape, there's a little triangle for the head. Okay, don't think it's a horse. It will make it easier. Just think about shapes. Okay, this is good. Like that. So this is one over here, and this is not the horse right next to it, right here. We don't have to make it two details at this point, one thing at a time. Okay, and then I'm gonna have the horse here, right in the, about the middle point. Okay, right here. Right there, this is good. And then, add a couple more. Right here, there's two more over here. And there's another one right at the front over here. So if I can leave the uh, the head over here a little bit lighter, it would be great. If it doesn't, that's fine, okay? So, give a little plan. I'm gonna ignore this horse. I'm gonna just add this horse right here. There's one over here, the back. Like this, this is good. All right. Now, the other thing I want to really focus on 
is how the movement lead to the horse. The horse, the horses will be their main focus. So I'm gonna get a little bit yellow, put it over here, and there's a little gray color. So I'm gonna have this, the little light shape over here. The composition and intention is very important. I'm gonna have it like that. You see that little bit moving over. And this is uh, the light shape. Okay, here we go. Now, directly, you don't have to make a straight line. And there's some little big uh, distraction over here. And this is a good, that's great. Coming a little bit more like that. You see, this is movement all the way leads you to the horse, right here. So I'm gonna make this to be the focal point. Okay, this is great. Now this is the tension. Now we start painting. So we're gonna paint the sky, the very gray in the background, and then uh, paint the little bit darker gray color. So this is, can be a very soft, but this is not gonna be totally loose the edges. So let's take a look. Okay, let's go one thing at a time. I'm gonna first mix the gray color. So get the yellow color here, get the red color, and then get the blue color. Let's see. Get a little bit more red, a little bit more yellow. That's just pretty good. Okay, a little bit more red. That's pretty good. The mix well and get a little bit more water. Let's just get a little bit more water. It's good. Now I'm going to start from the top. Okay, get a little bit more water. Just to let it coming down a little bit more softer like this. I'm going to keep it all the way. Come on here all the way. Now I'm gonna take a look at the space I'm gonna leave. This is the face of the horse over here. I'm gonna leave it. Okay, this is good. So the head of this horse, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, this is good. And this, the front over here, I'm gonna have this horse also lift that. Now I'll take a look at the bottom over here. I'm gonna have this the bottom of the hill. Focus one thing at a time. That's just pretty good. Now I have that and have this guide a little bit darker. That's kind of interesting. I'm gonna keep that. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna paint the reflection of this guy right over here. I don't need a lot of paint. Just brush on it. This is good. Uh, right now, this is still a bit too wet to get into the sky yet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix a little bit more yellow, a little bit more blue, and it'll become the green color. I'm gonna get a little red, and this is good, like that. I'm gonna come over here, so step on it. Okay, this is good, like that. Okay, coming up over here. And... Uh, right, this is good. I'm gonna have the color a little bit brighter. Okay, like this. So I'm gonna add a little bit more blue. 
So it's got a little bit blue, got a little bit red. I'm gonna actually have this color a little bit more intense. That's good, like that. Get a little bit yellow. Just thinking about the just the color. Okay, very important the value of the color. So I'm gonna come in here. All right, this is good. Now coming down over here, I'm gonna just take a little bit more water coming like this. That's good. All right, and get a little bit more yellow. Okay, so step on it, step on it. And now I'm gonna change the color. Get a lot more yellow down over here. A lot more yellow, like this. Okay, let's take a look at that. This is good. As I can see it, this is the beautiful. I'm gonna get a little bit orange color. So get this orange color. That's too much red, so I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow. A little bit more yellow to it. This is perfect. Okay, I'm gonna come in over here, so step on it. Okay, move the color up a little bit here. Okay, now I'm gonna see this is gonna lead into that horse. This is good, like that. Just use the corner of this brush. That's good, like this. Now I'm gonna just use the corner. And here we go, that's good. Lead into that. Just play with the idea. Right, here we go, this is good. Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow, orange color. Here you go. Okay, here you go, like that. And bring that in gradually together over here. And now the tension coming up or gathering the tension going into that spot this is good gonna have this a little bit small like that here you go now this is good that's good now i'm going to start painting the rest of the front over here okay, okay here you go look at it think about it before you Keep going. Like that. And I'm gonna have a little bit green color. Take a little green color and just drop in. That's good. And have a little bit blue color. Okay, this is good. Now, just step on it. That's good. Like that. All right. Step. Yes, this is good. A little bit over here on the left and to the right side. Like this. Okay. Now it's a little shadow of this shape. So you can see that a little bit darker on the edge here. Like this, very nice. I'm gonna get a little bit yellow color, okay. okay that's good. Couple shape. Think about the weight, the balance. Okay. This is very nice. Now at this point, uh, the top over here is already getting dry. This is a great time to paint the mountain. So I'm gonna have this a little bit like a brownish color and mix with the blue. I'm gonna get the color pretty well. I think that if you want, you can get 
a tap or a little bit red. Just keep thinking about that. So only the three color that we're dealing with, right? So take a look at that. And we're going to take a look at this would be, and it's getting a little bit dry. Okay, this is good. The mountain right over here. Think about this, a star coming down. Okay, this is good. And very easy, easily going through. Okay, that's good. That's good. And take a look at all the way over here. And I'm gonna start getting a little bit higher here. Okay, moving down through the window. This is good. That's a nice shape. And I'm gonna start coming back up over here like that. So it's a very much easier, much easier mountain. I'm gonna get a little bit water. I'm gonna just coming down over here a little bit softer. Okay, there you go. Coming to, don't touch the uh, the wet grass over here. And still leave that. Coming down a little bit more. This is good. Good. Down a little bit over here. Keep it soft. Even make it a little bit lighter if you want to. You can wash it. Take away the color. Okay. This is good. So I'm going to actually... Move that color a little bit lighter. Like this is good. A little bit lighter over here. Okay, here we go. You got to use the larger brush when you're dealing with the larger shape. Make it much easier for you to control. Okay. Okay, this is good. Now we establish something very, very important. And now I'm going to come into using the calligraphy brush. I want to take a look over here. There will be some uh, reflection of this building over here. But we're going to see at this point, I'm going to give a little bit orange color right there. So now this is good. This is a orange brown color. And can be a little bit less color, a little bit lighter. Okay, I'm gonna put it right over here. You can see that. Don't worry about too much about uh, the detail at the beginning. And you can gradually adding shape. And when you add more shape and the balance getting a little bit more complicated. So you can continue improve your balance, improving the uh, complexity and but don't destroy the big impression. Okay, this is pretty good at the bottom of the mountain. And I'm going to have a little bit gray color like that. Okay, one thing at a time, right here. That's the bottom of the mountain. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start painting the shape of the houses the walls. Now I'm going to take a look at so only the three color, red and the blue, and then add a little bit yellow. Depends on how much grade you want it to be. Okay, this is good. Okay, a little bit more blue in here. This is good. A little bit more water. This is good. Now I'll take a look at this wall. I'm going to take a look at right over here. Look at the shape one more time before you make it on. This is good, like that. And take a look at this shape over here. Okay, now I'm going to get a little bit more water. Even have a little bit more blue. Okay, too much water. That's good. Now, take a look, coming down, lift the shape of the window. Okay, right here. Okay, right there. I'm going to have a little bit darker. Coming back over here. This is good. 
Alright. I'm going to continue. A little bit up over here. And then the next shape. Right in here. Okay. Now moving on to this side. That's good. And then coming down over here. Okay, this is very good. And there's another window over here. I'm gonna make the around the window a little bit darker. There's another window over here. Okay, like that. Maybe make this, this window just slightly a little bit bigger. Okay, that's good. Like that. Leave a little bit light shape. Okay, like this. Okay, load the light shape over here. Like that. Load the gap. Okay, everything with intention. This is good. Now we have a shape of this house. Very nice. Now I'm going to have this. I'm going to remove that. A little bit too dark. Now I'm going to have take a look at this. The shape of this house. Okay, like that. Okay, and take a look on this side. Okay, like this, coming down, and okay, that's is good. Now I'm going to use a little bit orange color in here. Very good. That's good, keep that shape. Now I'm gonna just use a little bit warmer color. Just a little bit. Coming here. That's good. I don't have to connect that. That's good, a little bit dark over there. That looks very nice. I'm gonna have a little bit darker on the edge over here. Just make it a little bit a little bit higher, like that. Like this, this is good. Tap on it. Now I'm gonna take a look on this side. Sika, this is good. This is a little bit rock, like that. All right, I'm the bottom over here. I'm gonna have this. A little bit darker. In here, also make a little bit darker over there. And some catch the shadow of the horses. And next, I'm gonna walk into the shape of the horse. Now, first, I'm gonna lay a little bit shape for the shadow, like that. Okay, that's good. Like that, that's good. Okay, this is good. All right, I'm gonna make a little a few shape, a little bit more clear. Like this, this is good. All right, there's a little shape. So since we're working on uh, the houses, and now we already know exactly where the houses are, so I'm gonna use also the same color, looking at right here. Have a little bit reflection. Here you go, like that. That, a little reflection. Like that, that's just good. Now I feel like this is the reflection from the top over there. And that's just good. I'm gonna have just a little bit brownish color over here too. Okay, a little bit over here. I'm gonna have something even a little bit darker. And make that a little bit darker. Like that, this is good. The bottom over here, a little bit darker. So 
we are going to come back to define a little bit more of the houses. Okay. Now the next thing we're going to do is start painting into the this main house. And I'm going to have the orange color, but need to be light enough. Okay. Don't make it. I'm going to also have it bright enough. I'm going to have the yellow. Okay. Have the red. That's the orange color. Okay, that's good. Don't make it too dark. Now, right here. Okay. This is good. That's good. Like this. It's getting the sun. That's good. All right. And I'm going to have this just a little bit more grayed. Uh, secondary. And I'm going to see this horse. Right here. And there's the horse head. Okay, like that. That's beautiful. And a little bit horse over here. And next to the wall. That's okay. And now let's take a look at anything else we need to also do. Um, when I have this, the bottom of here, and a little big shadow. Like that. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now it looks pretty good and I'm going to come in back to the house. And I also going to have this a little bit more leading, a little bit lighter, leading toward this horse. So I'm going to have a little bit lighter, a little bit more yellow color here. Have a little bit leading like that. So I'm going to have a little bit more yellow. Just put it here. Like that. A little bit brighter. That's good. And at the front over here, a little bit more orange color. Also get a little bit texture. Get the yellow, red, and a little bit blue. Okay, open up the brush. I'm going to have that a little bit more texture, like that. A little bit texture at the front. That's good. Wonderful. That's like this. A little bit darker. That's good. Now we'll come back to take a look at the houses. It's almost dry. This is good. I'm going to get the red with the blue color. That's making it darker. Okay, this is good. Now take a look at this house. And Look at the door. Okay, that's good. All right. Look, think, and do it. That's good. Load the window. It's a little bit soft, so this is good. Okay, like that. And the edge over here, make it a little bit darker. Okay, also the other side, also make it a little bit darker, connecting over here. This is good, and the outside over here, and there's a little bit dark detail. Door coming down. Let's take a look at this, it looks like a little bit door over here too. 
doesn't need to be very very clear They're like that that's good and the top over here so add a little shape that's as good and a little bit over here and I think I have enough suggestions that's just pretty good with this house I'm gonna just have a little bit blue color a little bit blue I'm gonna have that little bit window and there's another window over right here but it's a little bit soft that's good like that and the top over here and look at the edge that's good keep a little bit soft okay keep that a little bit soft over here too that's good All right, we're gonna keep that wall at the bottom over here and keep a little bit darker coming up. Make it feel like a little bit old. Okay, like this, a bit soft. Okay, now I'm gonna start painting into the horses. Seven that's okay. Take a look at the horses. Um I have to paint the dark color in order to be able to see the light color. So I'm mix the yellow and with the red and blue it's getting the brown color. That's as good. Now take a look at this horse. So look at the shadow side of the head. That's good. Like that, two ear on the top. Here you go. That's the head and the neck over here in the shadow. Okay, one step at a time. Okay, slow down. And the two front leg. That's good. And the tummy. Like that. And then the back leg now in the shadow. Okay, get a little bit blue. A little bit more gray, that's good. And then take a look at the horse behind this. So it helped to make this horse stand out because of the color. Okay, that's good. Now, have to think about the size compared to this horse. Okay, here you go. It's good. Slow down. And two front leg. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna have the head a little bit darker. Right here, squint the eye. Okay, look at the tip of the brush. Okay, a little bit longer. That's good. Okay, we got two horses. Now I'm gonna continue painting the other horses. Let's take a look at. Take a look at this horse. Okay, look at the size. Coming over here a little bit longer. Yeah, look at the shape. Most important, just the shape. Like this. And coming down over here, that's good. Like that. And the face down over here, a little bit darker. 
like that. And there's another horse right next to it. Okay, now I'm gonna mix a little bit darker color. Just get a little bit more red with the blue color. Okay. Look at that. Okay, two leg. Okay, here you go. Okay. There's the head. Like a little big triangle. Okay, that's good. Like that. Okay, now I'm gonna have this shape. This one. Look at the shape again. Trust that you can do it. Okay, that's triangle. And the neck. And the front leg. Mm. I'm going to separate the two legs, the tummy and the back. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to do this one. Okay, there's two back legs over here. Okay, that's good. And to front. Here we go. Now the face, a little bit lighter. Right over there, I'm gonna have just a little bit light brown color. Here you go. Right here in the shadow. Okay, that's good. So I'm gonna have also reshape the brush for the neck of this brush for this horse. Okay, here you go. Okay, here you go. Like that. Pretty good. And the front over here, this horse. I'm gonna have this little big shadow at the shoulder. Okay, here you go. Little big shadow over here. Okay, that's good. All right. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of organizing. I'm gonna come back with the flat brush. I think I'm gonna have this a little bit softer. Okay, this is good. Have a little yellow color. And make a little bit, a little bit softer, a little bit lighter. I'm gonna have this connect down over here. Okay, have a little bit yellow. And make this feel more like green. Okay, this is good. Okay, now this painting is finished. If you also like oil painting, you can see how I do this in another YouTube channel. The link is in the description. I know that life can sometimes be headache and messy. But I hope that with art, you can relax and just enjoy the moment. I will see you in my next video.